Ice Ranger, probably. Although this is a really efficient card, and if you get multiple copies of it... Okay, Arjun Watchman, I can see that. I'm watching you. Job's done. So the Argent Watchman is now in the deck, so I can draw it, I think. But I can't draw these three cards. Why do I have two armor plating? I didn't draw an armor plating. I was never lucky not drawing the Watchman. Wow. What a start. Fireball is a nice fast answer. I just want to stack my board full of Argent Watchmen, and then they're actually really efficient. I activated them all at once. And good stuff. I think Argent Watchmen might actually be a good card. I'm watching you. It takes a little bit of time to set up, but I'm feeling the Argent Watchmen strat. Respecting my Argent Watchman strat. Echo of Medivh. That might be the worst card. <laughs> Micro Machine or Guildland. This one's better if you are not horribly winning. I don't think it's time to activate the Watchman yet. So I can either kill a 4 5 or play 4 5 worth of stuff. And he keeps going face. Yeah, let's do this. Once I get enough Argent Watchmen, then it'll be time to activate them. Though here it'll be better to coin that Lord. That's an unfortunate card to get for him. Though the 5 4 is good against my 6 5. I'm gonna wanna get a card that's not these. Fugan, maybe. Cobra is not bad. Cobra is like just hard removal. And go Cobra Watchman. I like that. I'm watching you. My board control is so good. Just gotta stabilize. And I think next turn is a stabilizing turn. If you can get multiple uh, Inspire effects to go off on the same turn, then you're usually doing pretty well. So that's the theory here. I'll just stack up those Watchmen, and then what pow Crush his board. Hungry Dragon should be really good. Um, yeah, eventually. I know he has no direct damage in his deck yet. I think it's not time to activate the Watchman yet. Do a Fireball what and a to Stalker? Do. What to do? Oh, right, I have to Fireblast this first. Okay, no, it is time to activate the Watchman. Let's go. Alright. Enough watching. I saw that. I saw that. Here we go. Dombo. Argent Watchmen, a good card if you use them like that. Alright, I have no mechs, unfortunately. Coliseum Manager might be best. It's got good stats. Actually, maybe I just want to play a 4 mana 5 4. Yeah. Maybe someday I'll get a mech. And it'll be insane. I saw that. I saw that. Oh. 
I saw that. Uh, that's right. Colosseum Argent Watchman. That's that's not a very good synergy strat, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. So on this turn, I'm going to want a fireball. Fire blast. So I can use the watchman to the 2 2. No, I don't have the time for that. Um, Dark scale healer. Now, what if I hungry dragon? And then fireball. It seems like I'm going to use any of these cards. I this is pretty good for synergy later. I could just go Dark Scale Healer Cobra. It's not me. bad. Now Dark Scale Healer... Ah, I got it. Wait, I didn't have to use that. One off. Phew. I should have played around Consecration and put it on the 2-2, but my card sucks anyways. In the late game, it's kind of like Jeeves is always on the board. Kind of. This Brawl's cool. Alright, but he had the Matter of Bomber, so it makes sense to uh, put the plating on a one health minion. That belongs in a museum. The victory is yours. This is a really good opening hand. Let's see, Defender of Argus. Yeah, good in Paladin. I think it might always be a mistake to pick a 9 mana card. Chicken advantage. Play. Missed like three damage. Oh, my favorite Imp Master. This card's so good when you have control. In a world where chickens are king, the Imp Master is the chicken king. Well, in, in, in this game where chickens are the foot soldiers, the Imp Master is the king. I guess that's how you put it. The queen, because she breeds. She breeds, uh, artificial chickens. What do you call these things? Cold Light Seer for the combo combo. Nah, I'll just... Make a guy instead of a chicken. Guys are better than chickens. Oh yes, the Imp Master is the battery farm, as opposed to these free-range chickens. That's what I was looking for. Imp Master is just so good to choose early. Advances that board control. 
If you run out of time, you automatically pick the left card. In tracking and discover. Random note. Ooh. It feels strange to pick that over a good card, but... I'm feeling her. Shredder, that's a good card. Oh, turn one Shredder. Holy cow. Insert unfairness. Thank you. Time for the buff chicken, turn one. Uh, these are all bad choices. I think I just take the 3 3. Maybe someday I get a mech. I probably should have went, uh. I just played a 2 2 instead of a 3 3. I'm kinda dumb. Oops. But it's like, oh, I'm gonna play four cards instead of just, uh. Yeah, okay, never mind. I was too drawn by the champion chicken play. Uh, Shredder. Oh, Shredder Tinkertown, that's a combo. For those that have joined late, let me remind you on how this brawl is played. No matter whether you play the card or not, they are thrown back to your deck, so there's no strategy to be gained by holding cards. I know this brawl is very confusing. It is probably the most mechanically confusing they've made. Oh, that's right, I actually don't want to uh, combo the Tinker Town because then I have really bad cards in my deck. Hadn't uh, thought about that. But I think the game ends quickly enough if I have a piloted Shredder stick and I get the buff on the Tinker Town deck that it's fine. Random Horde Warrior, or Guaranteed Shredder. Oh, Dilemma, Dilemma. Alright, we don't want this. Everyone wants me to play Power of the Horde, right? I'm just gonna assume that's the case. It's like, man, Piles of Shredder is pretty good, but random Horde Warrior, that's more fun, right? It's Brawl. Rewarded. Actually, I don't believe uh, Karen ever appears in your deck because you didn't play Karen. So, we won't get more Karens, but we will be able to summon more random Horde members.
<laughs> you don't get more Cairn, you get more 4 mana Cairn. Nice. Ah, oh, we have the decision again. Do we double down? Okay. What's in the box? Yeah, fair. Wait, when did that unstealth? How does it have divine shield? Oh, it went face? For honor. Serious barbecue time. <laughs> Emperor Thorasan. I believe that happens after you draw your new hand, so that's actually useful. That raid leader doesn't help. Alright. <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh, man. Good job. That was a mistake. <laughs> Free coin! I think I play Whirling Zapomatic just because I can actually afford the card. I could use Sludge Belch or Shredder, but Cobra is actually really good. mana 8-8. Eight, eight. Totemic Might. <laughs> Rip. Wow. That was a mistake. That's kind of unfortunate. I hope he draws two Totemic Might next. Handle it. Hit it very hard. Coin totem. Oh my gosh, OP. Unfortunately, not this turn. Well, actually, yes, this turn. Give me a quest. Wrong order. Should have played the questing adventure first, and then the coins. Goblin Sapper, I guess. What's happening? Oh, I didn't get any, any of the coins. It's too bad. What to do? Oh, good totem. Everyone? There's no AoE in this format. This could actually work. In a bit. Like a fuse! Give 
Oh my gosh, you hard counted my patrons before patrons happen. Oh, never had a way to deal with this stupid totem. Oh my gosh. What a disaster. Flame Cannon, Unstable Ghoul, Gildan Stalker. These are all pretty good choices. I think given the amount of chickens out there, the Flame Cannon isn't very good. Stalker takes out the uh, totem. Guaranteed eventually. Well, not guaranteed. Almost guaranteed. So I have to play Grim... Oh man, it's impossible to time the Grim Patron. No, oh, well. Just won't happen. If both players got Deathwing, would they be able to destroy their decks to the point of having only Deathwing creating a stalemate? Well, it would just come down to fatigue then, yeah. Knife Juggler. That's good. Give me a quest. Four five, yes. And I should have one of my guys at two three. Since that might survive lightning storm. Oh right, there's no such thing as fatigue. Okay, I guess if it's deathwing v deathwing, it does come down to a draw. Unless he drafted BGH. You would need a removal. Oh no, removal card would be good. That's right. Ronin. Master Jouster. Hmm. I think I win Jousts a lot since I have a Grim Patron. And he seems to have only drafted low cost, relatively. And I have the Stalker in my hand. There's a lot of chicken on chicken jelly. No, oh, I should have coined this. I didn't play around Lightning Storm. Wow, that egg's really good, given that totem. It's okay, soon there will be grim patrons. And they'll only have a 50-50 of getting rid of the original. Patron, or do we play cards that don't suck? Put this apple on your head. Finally, a second chance. Time runs out on me. Okay, I'm incentivized to kill this because these can deal one to the one. Now I kill this. Now I want to play chicken. I'm due for the lightning storm. Uh, there's only a, like one in three chance he didn't get it. Phew. That's a pretty good card. Oh, never mind. Very sneaky. 
The vaporize will at least hit the shredder, which is okay. Uh, if he does it wrong, then that would be nice. Hmm, that's a pretty good one for me. Oh, and he's gonna keep getting the sheep. No, he's not. Yes, you will. No, he won't. Doesn't work. Out. Dara Drake. Well, oh, it's definitely the choice. The Joust. Huh, given that it's win the Joust or bust, I believe I played this first. Yeah. Let me play this first. I am undefeated. Oh. Okay, he doesn't necessarily have these. He needs either armor plating or plus one, or just one damage. Flame Tongue Totem is in this deck. Tazdingo. But maybe it'd be so lucky. Doesn't have any direct damage, so it could theoretically win You're if he whiffs. Now. Did whiff. It's gonna be tough to get past the tigers in the future. I don't have enough to clear all of that. Boo. Almost enough. Alright, that's crazy enough to maybe work. I want to play the knife juggler first and then a bunch of chickens. Oh, or this could work. Nah, this is more fun. It's okay, I had no chance. Wait, wait, I actually did have a chance. Hit, hit, hit. No, that one had. Alright, well played. Well played. You win this. Prepare to lose. I was distracted by prepare to lose. What's your favorite brawl now? This or the pirate one? They're both equally good. And they are like my top two now. Basically, Discover is king. Argent Squire is really good. I mean, it's not ridiculous, but it's good. I'm feeling that this will work. I'm optimistic. Somewhere in this game, Rampage will be value. And if not, then I don't have to play it. Locked and loaded. This chicken board control is too hard to overcome. OP.
Okay, I can still draft Brawl. Brawl or bust, boys. It's definitely possible that the first player has a pretty big advantage because you get to play the first chicken. And, like, there are coins. Oh, although, if you have a hand like this, then it's not that OP. Do I just have a hand with a lot of. Do I just have a lot of chickens in this deck? I don't know. Your chicken down in size. Bloodlust. Gnomish Experimenter. That's not very good in this one. Ogre Brute. That's pretty good. I don't think I can count on Bloodlust, though Bloodlust is really good if you're winning, of course. But we're not at that stage. Blood-blusted uh, chickens. Reminds me of Legend of Zelda. I think Gold Star Footman beats Kalthuzan. He can, like, uh, fight two chickens. I think that's a tough choice to make, but it's correct. I'm not even trolling. It's true! Like, those of you who don't understand that choice have not played as many of the Brawl games as I have, probably. You don't really get to turn 8 if your board is losing. So you want to get that chicken control in the early game. And who else other than Goldshire Footman to control this uh, chicken? It's absolutely the right tech choice. Plus it's, uh, it's one mana so you can just slip it in. You guys are not as good at the chicken duel brawl as I am. That's my theory. Alright, let's see. Spider Tank or Tuskar? I'll go Tusk Tusk. I'll play that over Brute. Did you bring some fish? Hmm. Oh, did I just miss Adis spare part combo? Oops! Alright, well that was wrong. Although I didn't have a spare part in my hand. It's kind of tough to draw Aegis and that at the same time. Okay, I, I was wrong. Dark Pain OP. I just missed an OP pick. I apologize. Okay, I won't miss this one though. Um, the question is... Yeah, I think it's correct to do this. It leaves a 3-3. I don't miss that. Old Sharp Footman is here to serve. Alright, so he picked up AoE. That hard counter is Footman. The gates are open. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, King Mukla. No, Arjun Protector. This is only good if you control the board. You can wreck his deck early on. They are improvements. Bananas aren't bad cards. I think that's what I realized. The source of, uh... They make for an excellent meal with the chickens. You can fill his deck with bananas, but then he just plays chicken banana, and that's not a bad play. Chicken banana banana. Like, I, I just picked Goldshire Footman in one, so... Makes sense, uh... That banana is better than I thought it was. Bling bling. Boring old sludge belcher. Sorry, guys. Okay. Since, uh, since this doesn't cost anything, I'll go for shooting the moon and see if I can get $235 by saying Benjangles123. Thanks, Twitch chat, for backing up that. And recognizing him. Oh my gosh, Hobgoblin. I win. Well, at least I get Hobgoblin. I come see you. In the world of chickens, Rogue is OP. With the only good hero power. I, th I actually think Angry Chicken is the best card here. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, chicken combo. Let's do this. Well played. Thanks. OP. What a start. Armor-plated Angry Chicken. What are you going to do? Mm. Oh, we can keep this going. I'll sell the night over this. Wow. What a start. What a start. We control the chickens. We make our chicken amazing. What a start. That's a crispy chicken. Oh, backstab. The defender of Argus. Oh, backstab. I need to defend this chicken, right? And I can start my other chicken. Yeah, backstab's really good. Defender's really good. But if we backstab, Here we can protect we our go. chicken. We can uh, start comboing the other chicken. I'm not even trolling. This is so gross. We play our angry chicken, and then we defend it. So on this turn, mm -hmm. I want to send the 1-2 into the 1. I think I just lose this chicken, that's fine. I probably play a new bar ambusher since it's pretty efficient. The other play uh, could so weapon up. Options. Okay. I'll go for the long term then. The problem with assassinating is Okay, I guess I can make him spend the mana to Yeah, that's fine. I didn't want to leave myself with a 6-1 angry chicken, but if he's spending 2 mana to kill, and kill a chicken, it's probably good for me. Oh man, we got more plated chicken. This 
is so exciting. <laughs> BGH chicken? Alright, if he gets BGH. I've developed a brand new recipe. Time for more chicken. Crazed Alchemist? Is that good? That's really good. Do I have lethal? No. Oh, yes, no, yes, I do. Okay. But I wanted to make more chickens, but oh well. You love my new recipe. I wanted to, like, hit this and then it would enrage when I swap. And then I have two angry chickens, but I guess I'll take the win. Well, that was the best one yet. That match. <laughs> 